Salut Si c'est ta première fois sur ma chaîne, je m'appelle Lindy. Je suis américaine qui vit en France depuis 5 ans. And as lecture job openings are starting to be posted, I've received many questions on the process. So today I thought I would share with you a video answering some common questions about the lecture or lectrice job as well as the interview process. So to start, what is the actual job? What is a lecteur or lectrice position? If it's not clear, your role is to teach English or whichever language you'll be teaching, but at a university. If you're coming into this job as a previous assistant de langue, there are some major differences. As an assistant, you assist a professor, whereas a lecteur or lectrice, you are now the main prof and you plan your own lessons. You also grade assignments and exams where you don't as an assistant. For your schedule, it changes semester to semester. I know at my university, I had more teaching hours the first semester, where this semester is a little bit lighter. And you might work around 15 hours a week in the classroom, which might not sound crazy, but there is quite a bit of lesson prep before each class. So you have to factor in planning your lessons as well, which can take some time. A big plus is that you follow the university schedule, so every six weeks or so you get a week off for vacation. It is a CDD, or like a fixed contract, so it's a one-year contract and you can renew it one time, so for a grand total of two years. And if you're a non-EU citizen, schools can sponsor your visa, which is a big plus as well. So let's look at some of the requirements. To be a lecteur, the education required depends on the university. Some accept a bachelor's degree, but some ask for you to have or be in master's one. There is another role you might see when searching, it's called a maître de langue, and this is a similar role, but you would need a completed master's degree to apply for that. You earn around 1200 euros a month net as a lecteur, and then around 1,500 euros a month for a maître de langue, MDL. And the salary is for 12 months and includes school vacations. You also need to be a native or at least have a C2 level to teach the language. And there's no age limit, unlike the assistant de langue program. Next, let's look at how I actually found the job. So there are a few routes you can go to search for this job. There's the classic Google search, or if you know the university you want to work at, you can check their job posting section. You could also just spontaneously send your CV and cover letter in English and French. That's actually what I did because I was applying to a specific university and wanted to apply early. And as for postings, Unis usually start posting as early as January, and then they can go to like March, April, or some even post in May. And another great resource, an American friend, every year so kindly organizes all the listings that she finds and puts them on her website. I will link that below. Go to it, it's a great resource. And lastly, another one is networking. It's just, it's super helpful. If you currently work at a middle or a high school, Ask your colleagues. Some of them work at a university or know people. Maybe they will know of some openings or at least tell you who to contact. So now we know what the job is and how to find it. So let's say you've secured an interview. Here's what to expect. They will usually first ask you to present yourself. They'll ask about your experience. And like in any interview, they're trying to see if you're a good fit for the job. So show your skills, show how your past experience aligns with what they're looking for. Other lecteurs have told me that they had to show some prepared lessons and maybe even demonstrate one. I know I talked about previous lessons I did and made sure to show like grammar, culture, emphasis on pronunciation and having them practice their oral skills. I also organized a conversation hour open to all students and a board game night that I hosted for the boarding school students. A key question I thought was really interesting was they asked how I would handle varied levels of English in the same classroom. So for example, I would have some classes where they might be like A1, A2, beginner level, but then I'd also have students that are B2, intermediate level. 
So I really needed to show how I could not only challenge both students, but also have them feel encouraged and involved. They want to see too that you can handle a class of at least 20 to 30 students. If you're currently an assistant de langue and maybe don't have that experience with handling larger groups, use another experience where you did have to handle larger groups. Maybe you were a camp counselor, or maybe while you were an assistant, you did an English club and would create engaging events, or a board game night, all those kind of things. Again, the key is showing that you have the skills, even if maybe you don't fully have the experience yet. For my personal experience, I interviewed with two schools and I got offered both, but one school had an agreement with a Scottish university and had to send a master's student with like an exchange program. So anyway, I gladly accepted my current role and I'm so happy that I did. So how I got the job. I was actually talking to my colleague the other day about this and I learned the main reason I got the job was definitely my teaching experience so they wouldn't have to start from scratch with me, uh, the fact that I was an early candidate, I already lived in the region, and I had a colleague at the high school I worked at who also worked at the university and she had contacted him and he vouched for my skills so that was pretty cool. I think too, my French level helped and my confidence in the classroom as well. Another question I've heard is, will the interview be in English? <laughs> this really does depend. For me, we started in English, but they wanted to make sure I spoke French and about 90 to 95% of the interview, we ended up only speaking in French. But like I said, this can vary. It just depends on who's interviewing you and your level. But I think they just want to see that you at least have a decent level so you'll be able to talk with your colleagues and handle any administrative work because that will be in French. And something to note as well, as I've heard, it's almost impossible to work your second year at another university because usually they don't want to hire and train someone for just one year and it's just easier for them to keep the same person. Also, I've just had a really great experience so far. I've had really friendly and helpful colleagues, great students. I've had flexibility with what I want to teach. I've also been able to connect with my students. Like with any job, there will always be some drawbacks, but I think overall this has been a really great experience. Alright, so now you've snagged the job and you're wondering what to expect. Well, I have a video on a week in the life of a lectrice, so feel free to check it out if you're wanting to see what to expect, what your schedule might be like, and just some like lesson plan ideas. And if you know of anyone who's looking into this job but not sure how to prepare or where to start, feel free to send them this video. And if you have any further questions, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to share my experiences and help you get that job. Trust me, I was in the same boat a year ago, so I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. À la prochaine. Bisous. Salut.